Welcome to Analytic Yena's video tutorial series on combustion elemental analysis of edible oils and fats. You're watching the first episode about challenges and tools in oil analysis. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yena YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Angela and together with my colleague Stefan, I would like to talk about oil analysis by combustion elemental analysis technique. Today we want to discuss about sample preparation, method setting, system configuration and data evaluation. This can be done in feedstock materials, process intermediates, auxiliaries or ultra pure final products. Two of the four elements are especially important the sulfur and the chlorine, because they are catalyst poisons. Not to forget their toxic effects for the environment when being released during combustion processes of fuels and combustibles, or for human beings when being consumed as food. In food safety, the separate determination of different chlorine species is of particular interest. Determination of totally bound organic or inorganic chlorine. A special challenge are the widely varying matrix types and their specific properties. They range from solid over viscous, still very light volatile liquids, gases and under pressure liquefied gases. From ultra pure one component samples up to inhomogenized, multiphasic, multi-compound mixes. Additional concentration differences in the range of ultra low PPB up to 100 weight percent. All this has an important impact on sample preparation, sample supply strategy and system configuration. Even the smallest deviations have a remarkable impact on the quality of the final result and the routine maintenance. The first question arising when analyzing organic materials is if and if so how the samples have to be prepared to gain optimum analysis results. Reasons for pretreatment can be manifold. They can be a too high or too low concentration, particle content, interfering compounds, or just a too high viscosity of the matrix. Ideally, no pretreatment is required. This is the case for high purity, homogenized and non-viscose final products such as fuels, heating oils, or ethanol. If only viscosity is increased but the other properties stay the same, a specific sample supply strategy may help. A dilution is not necessarily required. Typical samples here are white oil or hydraulic fluid. In case of too high element content, too high viscosity, inhomogeneity or undesired components, you need to pretreat your sample. Typical examples here are palm oil, VGO or animal fat. If sample pretreatment is necessary, there are a number of points to be considered in order to achieve optimum results and to avoid any kind of hassle. First and foremost, the selection of the appropriate tools is on the agenda. They need to be clean and resistant against organic materials. Transfer pipettes or disposable Pasteur pipettes are used for standard and sample handling. This is ideal for viscous materials, allowing easy and clean sample taking and eliminating the risk of contamination and sample spillage. When you start selecting sample vessels, you should pay attention to resistance to organic materials, leak tightness and nominal volume. This prevents loss of analyte during storage and further processing. Suitable lids have a seal, resistant to solvents, not bleeding out the element of interest. Analytical balances are important tools in many respects. For preparation of standard solutions weighing in the samples or preparation of solutions and dilutions of the samples. The balance you are using should have at least 0.1 mg precision in the display. In homogenized viscous matrices such as wax or palm oil need to be homogenized by melting before further processing. For this purpose, a heated water or ultrasonic bath is used. For the separation of matrix components, extraction is well established. A typical example here is a separate determination of chlorine contents in palm oil by a warm water wash. This technique can be applied manually by use of separatory funnel or conveniently by utilization of a centrifuge or shaking machine, either with integrated or no integrated heating. Now that all tools have been introduced, the next step is the sample preparation.